eight awesome tricks from school that still work. Some common tricks are so useful and simple, they can come in handy to more than one generation. However, over time, they're somehow forgotten and they turn into what's called grandma's tips. We decided to recall the past and collected eight great tricks from childhood which everyone forgot. Eight, determine the time left before sunset. Do you know how to determine time without a clock? Keep your fingers together and reach your hand out so that the sun lies on your index finger. Now count the number of fingers on the horizon line. Each of the fingers represents approximately 15 minutes until sunset. 7. Know if the moon is waxing or waning. To determine the moon phase easily, use the shape of the letters D, O, and C. The full moon is O, the first quarter is D, and the third is C. In other words, the letter C will mean waning and the letter D, waxing. 6. Know the degrees of an angle. Spread your fingers as much as possible and put your palm on a surface, the angle of which you want to measure. The little finger should lie on the bottom side. It means zero degrees. The angle between the thumb and the little finger will be 90 degrees. The angle between the little finger and the other fingers are, respectively, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. 5. Memory Trick To remember Roman numerals, you can use this phrase, My dear cat loves extra vitamins intensely. The first letters of the words represent the Roman numerals in descending order. M, a thousand. D, 500, C, 100, L, 50, X, 10, V, 5, and I, 1. 4. Check battery quality. It's easy to tell a good battery from a bad one. Raise two batteries 0.5 inches above a table and let them fall. The battery that bounces and falls is empty. 3. Multiplication on fingers Usually, we quickly remember the multiplication of small numbers, but sometimes we have difficulties with the numbers 6, 7, 8, and 9. Here are two simple tricks. Number 1. Turn your palms to your face. Number each finger starting with the little finger from 6 to 10. Now, for example, to multiply 7 by 8, connect finger number 7 on the left hand with finger number 8 on the right. The number of fingers at the bottom, counting along with the connected ones, means tens. We get five of them. As for the fingers located at the top, you need to multiply them among themselves. They mean units. In our case, multiply 3 by 2. Answer is 7 times 8 equals 56. This way, you can quickly multiply by 6, 7, and 8. Number 2. To multiply by 9, straighten your fingers and put your hands on a table with your palms down. To multiply any number by 9, just bend the corresponding fingers. Fingers before means tens, after units. For example, to multiply 7 by 9, bend the 7th finger. 6 fingers remain before and 3 after. We get the answer. 7 times 9 equals 63. Easy, right? 2. Length If you need to measure an object approximately but there's no ruler at hand, you can use the fingers of one hand. By the average human proportions, the distance between the tip of the thumb and forefinger is about 7 inches, or 18 centimeters. And the distance between the thumb and little finger is about 7.87 inches, or 20 centimeters. Of course, this method isn't absolutely accurate because each of us has a different hand size. Yet it can be useful if you need to measure a large object with a small ruler. Just measure the distance between your fingers in advance. 1. Know the number of days in a month. Make a fist and start counting the months by knuckles. Each knuckle bump and gap is a separate month. 
If you count on one hand, then, after reaching the end, start again with the knuckles of the index finger. Let's see. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. Now the right hand. August, September, October, November, and December. If the month is on the knuckle bump, there are 31 days. If it's on the gap, 30 or less. So, what do you think about these simple tips? Do you know any other brilliant tricks? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button below and click subscribe to stay on the bright side of life.